so I just hit the record button. Uh, it Brittany asked for the absolute versus relative. Um, it needs to be depending on what you're looking for, but it should be test two minus test one divided by test two. Um, but it can it can be any way you look at it, right? So it could be if they uh, if they gained weight, then you could be like, how much bigger are they than what they started at? And so it depends on which one you use as your initial based on the question. Um, does that make sense or make it more confusing? Because on one on our, one of our quizzes, I had for the for the first quiz we took that was absolute and relative, and I got it wrong. But it's like because I I don't know I guess I did it backwards. But it was two hundred thirty, and then two thirteen, and then one ninety eight. Yeah. So in Test class, two, yeah, I was confused. Yeah, in class I explained it right in the notes. It was written backwards. Uh, um, so I think everyone got credit. If they did it either way, they got credit on the quiz. Um, so you didn't get points taken off. Um, and so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, so yeah, it should be, however way you look at it, it should be go, test two minus one divided by test two. So absolute so. changes test two minus test one divided by test two? Yeah, so whichever number you use to subtract, use that yeah. to divide, right? So if it's, for example, test one minus test two, then you would divide it by test one. Wait, so it says for relative change, it's test two minus test one divided by test one? So it should, whatever your first value is, your initial then that's what you're going to divide by. So if it's test two minus test one, then you would divide by test two. If it's test one minus test two, then you would divide by test one. Okay, so what's the difference between absolute and relative? Relative, you just multiply by 100? So absolute is just the difference in the values. So it would just be test two minus test one. Okay. And then for relative change, it would be test two minus test one divided by test two times 100. Yes, exactly right. Okay. So on that quiz question, can we ask, can I ask about the quiz? Can we go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so, so for the first three months, it would be what? To it was like 230 minus 213 would give you the absolute. And then the relative but be, would be... But that would be test one minus test two, right? Um, is, the original, is the original one test one? So, you, yeah, so you can look at it either, either way. So I could ask you how much weight they lost or how smaller they are from when they began. Right. Yeah. Um, or what's their difference between now and when they first started? Right. So depending on the question, if I ask you how much weight they lost, then you would do 230 minus 230. 213. I think was the number. Yeah. If I asked you how much, so that would be negative 17 in theory. Um, if I asked you how much, or how much smaller they were now, or the difference between what they are now from what they were then, then you would do 213 minus 230. So you can have a negative? You can. Um, I, yeah. So for the first three months, this question, it's 230 minus 213? Yeah, so we were looking at how much weight they lost. Okay. Okay, and then for the second, it would be 213 minus 198. Yes. And then six months, it would be 230 minus 198, right? For the, for the last one, yeah. For all six months, okay. Yeah. Okay, so 
absolute is test two minus test one, and then relative is test two minus test one divided by test two times 100. Yes. So for the first one, okay. it would be 230 okay, so minus 213 divided by 230. And that's for the relative. Yeah. Yeah, not the absolute? Okay. Yeah, that's relative. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so relative okay, is percent change. That's the key. Yeah. Okay. And absolute is just subtracting. All right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem, Brittany. Do I just log? Yeah, you can just sit in or at leave meeting. Okay. Briefly, I want to clarify um, some of the confusion on um, how we calculate both absolute and relative change uh, with um, a lot of emphasis kind of put on being able to calculate a percent change or relative change. Uh, this will help make up um, for some of the points that you might have missed out on your quiz. Uh, later on this week, I will get some homework questions up that will then replace any of the points that you missed out on on um, these calculations um, during the quiz uh, in the second lab. Okay, so first let's start with the definition. Um, so if we look at what um, absolute change is, this is the difference between two scores in the units of measurement, and we can say that these are ex um, expressed numerically. I think the example I gave in class would just be um, if I made a 90 on a quiz and Bobby made an 80 on a quiz, then the absolute difference would be um, 90 minus 80, um, which would be an absolute difference of 10. The um, I think one of the concepts that caused some confusion, though, and, and, and I apologize for kind of uh, skipping over it a little bit um, is being able to calculate uh, the uh, relative difference um, which we can define as the difference between two scores expressed as a percent of one of the scores um, or in other words calculating percent change. So there's two different methods on how to calculate uh, percent change. You can do whichever one is easier for you but um, what I'll do is I'll provide both methods and we'll move to um, the, um, the problem from the quiz, and I will work them out on the calculator to show you how, they, how um, you would do that. So in method one, what you, the first step you would need to do is calculate the absolute difference. So that's essentially giving you um, the original number minus the second number, and then we will divide the absolute by the original number, and then convert to a percentage by multiplying by 100. Um, method two is a little different, but it cuts out the absolute difference. This is the method I kind of presented in class, but what you want to do is divide the new value by the original value, convert to a percentage by multiplying by 100, and then subtract 100% from that value. Again, that's maybe not super clear just looking at the formulas, but let's um, move on and, and, and make some of the calculations. So this is the question that we had um, on on the quiz. So let's walk through how they did. First, in the first three months, you'll see the person drop from 230 pounds to 213 pounds. In the second three months of his weight loss, he dropped from 213 pounds down to 198 pounds. Therefore, in the total six-month period, he went from 230 all the way down to 198 pounds. So uh, first, I think the easiest would be to look at the absolute value. So in that first two months, again, the original value, 230 pounds, minus his new weight um, would be 213 pounds, giving us an absolute difference of 17 pounds. Uh, if we look at what happened in the second three months, um, the person went from 213 pounds all the way down to 198 pounds giving us an absolute difference of 15 pounds, and the exact we can make the exact same calculation here. Uh, the starting weight, 230 pounds, minus 198 pounds, gives us 32 pounds. Um, so that should be uh, relatively simple. Um, one thing to note is when you're kind of calculating these absolute differences, uh, what you're gonna need to do is kind of start with the largest number first, or you're gonna get a negative number, which is fine as long as you know what the negative and the positive um, positive mean um, and kind of to be um, specific this is a, 
a change of 17, um, but we can also say that this is a decrease by 17 pounds. So you just need to always keep in mind which direction um, your absolute difference is going. Okay, if we look at how to calculate relative, uh, again, looking at method one here, this is where we take the absolute difference, divide that by the um, the original number, and then multiply by 100 to get it to a percent. So I'll show you what that looks like um, briefly, but it's 17, then divided by the original number, 230 pounds, gives us um, 0 0.07391, et cetera, et cetera. We'll multiply by 100, and the value then we'll get is 7.39, uh, or I shortened it here to 7.4%. Method two will give you the exact um, same. So what we'll do is we'll start with the new number, 213, divided by the original number, which gives us 0.926. If we multiply that by 100 to convert that, and then what we'll do is then subtract 100. So what we see is, is um, it went down, as we know, by 7.4%. I'll add that here. Okay, so if you look at that, you can do them um, either way. It's the same, you get the same value. Um, it just depends on how you think about it easiest. Um, for me, this the second method is the one that comes to mind but I have a feeling a lot of you will, will think just calculate the absolute difference, divide by the original, and that'll give us a percent change will be easier. Um, again, just briefly, I'll, I'll calculate these. So 15 divided by 213 times 100. So the answer for that should have been uh, 7%, 7.04%. And again, this is a change in the negative direction. If we Calculate it by method 2, 213 divided by 198, um, which is 1.075, and then we subtract 100. <coughs> uh, that didn't come out right. Let's try that again. Uh, All right, uh, so before I go too far, so I had these backwards. So this needs to be the new value, 198 divided by 213 to make this um, um, calculation work out. So I changed that, so let's try the recalculation. 119 divided by 213 times 100, and then minus 100 will give us our percent change, so we get, again, that same value, negative 7% uh, percent decrease. And again, this, this formula is right, so it's the initial value, or the um, new value divided by the original value. And again, that gives us this value here of 13.9%. All right, I think that kind of just sums up uh, the um, how to calculate that. Again, I'll get some homework up soon, but that just kind of gives you um, the formulas uh, here on, on this page um, for you to uh, be able to work through calculating um, that percent change. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to um, shoot me a quick email, stop me after class, or come by office hours. Be happy to uh, walk, you any, walk you through any of the steps that might have been confusing.